Hey guys, welcome back to Sudoku Maniacs. First of all, apologies. Unfortunately, Prasanna's health as well as his laptop both are having issues. So we have to kind of postpone his live session. And I spoke to Prasanna, his throat was in a real bad shape, incessantly coughing and stuff. So I'm really sorry about this guys. Hopefully we'll have it next week. It all depends on how well and how soon Prasanna recuperates. So in the meantime, I thought, why not present one more variant and the tips and tricks required to solve this extra region Sudoku. Now extra region Sudokus are basically your normal classic Sudokus with a few regions drawn in the grid, which are marked in gray. What it means is these gray regions also, each individual region will contain the digits 1 to 9 without any repetition. Now there are a few tricks that we also use in these. You, if you remember our video on the irregular Sudoku where we had learnt about the in and out technique where we would draw an imaginary line across the grid and see which cells go beyond the line and which cells come inside the line and the digits repeat in those regions. We use similar methods for an extra region Sudoku as well. So for example, if I look at this bold line, which is dividing the box one and two, I see that three gray cells have come to the right from the top extra region, right? And there are three cells which are white in box one. So basically the inner rule states that the three digits which are there in these white cells will be the three digits that will be placed in these gray cells. So the inner rule is not restricted to just the irregular Sudoku. We can use that for an extra region Sudoku as well. So I will paste a link to this puzzle in the description of the video. So you can definitely try it out online if you want to. So let's go ahead and see how that technique is used to solve an extra region Sudoku. Now, like I always say, always start a variant like a classic. So, for twos, twos, twos are here, okay. So this four is part of this. So I know for sure the four will be in these two. Similarly, this would be a four. This nine is will be part of these three gray because of the in out. We have a nine here. Okay, so finally I have my nine. So one nine, one nine. Oh, nice. We get a pair of one and nine. Right? Two cannot be here, cannot be here. So I get a two here. Two, two, which means it has to be in these two, but we already got the two for the region. So that's two. Similarly, two. 2, I have the 2 for the region, so this will be a 2, that's a 2, and we have got all the digits 2, right? Now this 1 cannot be in this, it has to be part of the region, hence the 1 will be placed in these, right? It cannot be part of these 3 gray, using the in out rule, because if the 1 was in this gray cell, it would have to be one of these 3 whites, which is just not possible. Eight. 8, I get an 8, and then 5, oh, 5, 5, this would be a 5, 5, 5, I can't have a 5 because the 5 is already there in the region, so that's my 5. So this 8 cannot be in these 3, which means 8 will be part of the region here. It can't be here, it can be here. All right, so this is not an eight. Okay, for column six now, the eight is not in these three. It's not here, we know, because otherwise if we place an eight here, there would be no place for the eight in the first extra region. It can't be here, so this is my eight, eight. I can eliminate the eight from here. The eight is in these two. But this 8, 
right? So the eight has to be in column one here, which makes this an eight. Now three cannot be here. It's in these two, right? But this white cell is reserved for the digit which will be in these three gray cells. So I know the three cannot be here. This becomes a three. Four is locked here. This is not a four. This is not a four. That's a four. So that's a six, seven, which means these also would be a six, seven with a four here. Classic rules, four cannot be here. So that's my six and a one to complete the box. Seven, nine. One six and three four five. Okay, we have a five and a four, so this has to be three with a four five. So now these three cells have to be seven nine along with either one or a six. So I know for sure this will be one six nine, one six nine, right? Now one was here, one was here. Okay, one can be in any of these two. What next? So this would be a three six three six seven. Hmm. What would be the next there? Five. Seven will be part of these two. So I know for sure the three is part here. The three would be locked in these two because it can't be on the gray. This would be seven and eight, six and eight. So one, four, seven, eight, nine, right? So this is one, four, eight. One cannot be here, two, three, four is possible, five, six, seven, eight. This would be four, nine. One, four, seven, eight, nine, four, eight, one. So this would be a seven, nine. Nice, interesting. Okay, what was missing in this column? Three, four, five, and nine. So this can be three, four, nine, but I can't have the four there because the four is logged in these two, right? Oh, this was a four, how silly of me. This is a four, this is a four, that's a one eight, and that would be a seven nine, right? So that's a three nine, three five nine, and this is a five nine. This three nine, right? Three six eight nine, okay. Now the, this was one three seven nine. So this would be one three seven, one seven nine. One three seven nine. So we could have a one here as well. One seventy nine. Hmm. Interesting. Now eight. five is not this. This will five. This will be a five. Okay. So the three and four are logged in this. This is one tricky Sudoku. As I always say, sometimes my Sudoku stump me as well. <laughs> hey, one, six, seven. So this would be a six, seven, one, six, seven, one, six, seven. Oh yes, see, as I tell you, pencil markings really opens up the puzzle for us the moment i put this 167 i realize the 67167167 is a triplet so this would be my 3 
the threes out from here, so the three can be placed here, which makes this a six, which is sorry eight, and that's a seven, six, seven, six, seven. And this is a three. So now we have a pair of three four here, and this would be a one six. Pencil markings always help. There is no way we can have six, six by classic rules, six. So the six has to be placed in these two. And with this six being blocked here, the six can't be here, it's not here, not here. This is the only place for a six, right? So that's a one. Take that out. So this would be a one because six cannot repeat in the region. So that's six, nine. But we already got the six in row one, right? Here it is. So that's a one, it's gone here. So that's a nine, that's a one. That becomes a seven. And that's my nine with a eight here. So we are okay. That's a seven because of this, so that's a nine. This would be a seven and this would become a one. That's again a seven. Remember classic rules, one, one with a one here. So this was a five, nine, four, five, three, four, seven, four. So this five, nine will have to be here because these three grays are these three whites, right? But we already got a nine, so that's a five. So that's a nine and a five, which makes that a four, five, three and a four. So that's my three, that's a nine and that's a six. So pencil marking and the in out techniques really help you solve an extra region Sudoku in a much faster way than is normally possible. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do like, share it with your friends. Let us know in the comments what you thought of this. And like always, if you have any variants that you want us to cover, do not hesitate to let us know. We'll be more than happy to cover those variants for you. So I'm really sorry once again for that live session getting canceled. Now I'll keep you posted on when we'll be having it next. So till the next time, happy solving.